Now in this section, we'll be making the updates slash changelog part of the website. What we're going to do first is we're going to go to pages and we're going to add a CMS add blog basically, because that's what we'll be using for the changelog. In here, we can already see five items that Framer has added for us just so we can get started. And then when we go back, it will automatically add our blog page, our CMS page. And this will include an index page with a list of posts and a detail page for each individual post. So this is what we get. We just need to start styling it. So this is the default style index page. And then this is the default style post page. So let's start styling the page. So just to save time, I've already added our navigation, our hero text and our footer. Now we're going to actually add the index to this page. We can do that by going to add section, collection lists, and then change log, because that is the name of our CMS collection. We can then drag and drop that into our desktop. So first up, we're going to add some padding to our collection list. We'll add 60 above. We'll change the width of this as well to fill. And then we'll add a max width of 800 for now. We're going to go into our wrap and we're going to go to title, copy and paste that and then rearrange it. And then we can set the variable to the content because for the change log, we want the content to be on the actual index page itself. And we can see here when we do that, we get given the whole post, which is a lot of content here, but we will adjust this later on. First, I'll click on the wrap and I'll change the direction of it to be vertical. So we have our sort of thumbnail at the top and the content below. So this frame is our thumbnail. We can start adjusting this. I'll adjust the width of it. Make sure it's fill and then change the height. I'll change the height to 300. And then for the post itself, I'll center the date and then add a color to our date and then select a textile for the date as well. We'll add a new light slate color for our date. We'll change the size of our blog post title. And then what I do quickly here is adjust the content of our CMS and delete all the other posts as well. And here is our new content for the CMS. We can see now it makes a lot more sense because I don't anticipate this CMS having a lot of content. That's why I'm having everything shown on the index page. We'll rename the content layer to content because obviously we had copied over the title layer previously, but the variable for it is now content. We'll adjust the gaps between the paragraph to 20. And we'll adjust the line height as well. We'll adjust the gap to 20 for the wrap. And then for our frame, we'll adjust the height again to 400. We'll select our collection list and adjust the gap for this as well so that there's more of a gap between each of the posts. And then we'll move our collection list outside of the hero. I just realized that was inside our hero. We'll add some padding to the bottom and then we also need to make sure it's responsive. We'll add some padding left and right to the desktop version so that it trickles down to the tablet and mobile version. We'll change the text style for the heading just so that it's a bit larger. And then for the wrap itself, we'll change the gap again to 30. And then for the thumbnail to make it responsive, we'll select it and make sure that we hit the lock icon so that it scales down perfectly to mobile as well. We'll add a new textile for the CMS content. We'll add a new body textile. Change the font size, change the line height like so. Add some breakpoints. Make it 16 on tablet and then 13 on mobile. 
we'll rename this to CMS body like so. And there we are. That is our updates and change log ready to go. Fairly quick and simple, quite easy to do.